Will this Bells of Steel Hero heavy duty commercial grade bench fit in your home gym? The No Fate Channel, checking in. Jonathan here and Bells of Steel calls this bench heavy duty, but does it deserve that moniker? Can it withstand the toughest gyms in America? And is it worthy of your home gym? If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. I cover men's health, fitness, and every week, I review a new piece of home gym equipment. And I wanna know from you, please comment down below. When you're buying new equipment for your gym, are you specifically looking for commercial grade? Before we dive, Head first into the shallow end of the Bells of Steel Hero Heavy Duty Bench. I want to give you just some background information on the company. They started off in Canada in 2010 selling predominantly kettlebells. They've since expanded to a whole host of amazing home gym equipment. They are located as well in the U.S. now and they have free shipping and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Weighing in at a heavy duty 88 pounds, this bench hasn't missed any meals. As a reference point, Rep Fitness's competition bench comes in at 62 pounds. Now it's made out of 11 gauge steel, 1,000 pound weight capacity, and as you can see, it will stand vertically in your home gym when not in use. Besides being able to store vertically, another massive standout is the pad. Coming in at a thick three C's, 4.3 inches and firm AF. There's no give on this thing. Another big standout is that the corners are tapered, which just gives it a nice look and feel, as well as the fact that the pad itself is grippy and wide. Typical competition benches come in at 12 inches. This thing comes in at 14 inches. As far as height, it comes in above a competition bench at 17.7 inches. As far as stability, Bells of Steel bench isn't going anywhere. Not only is it heavy at 88 pounds, but most competition benches come in with three points of contact with the floor. This hero bench comes in with four, and they are rubberized, not only for a better grip and more stability with the floor, but to prevent moisture from being absorbed by the metal. It comes in any color you want as long as that color is black. It has a matte black powder coating. It's got oversized wheels, making it easy to move in and out of position. And it's got future attachments that are in the works per Bells of Steel. They are gonna be having a piece of equipment that you can add to this to do leg extensions and leg curls. In life, you often get exactly what you pay for. Bells of Steel Hero Heavy Duty Bench comes in at $330 with free shipping. But is it worth that price tag? The biggest standout, at least for me, is the fact that you can store it vertically. In a home gym, you're not getting any more space. So many people are constrained with the amount of space they have. And even if they have a ton of space, they want stuff to be neat, organized, and out of the way. By being able to store this vertically, you open up so much more floor space when this isn't in use. The second biggest standout has to be the stability. You can do a whole heck of a lot more on this thing than just bench. You can do step ups. You could do box jumps on this thing if you so choose. You can do Bulgarian split squats. You can do abs. Anything and everything, it doesn't budge because of that extra weight and the width of the pad as well as the thickness and these bad boy feet. It ain't going anywhere. Time out. I need to give all of you a huge thank you for using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. And all the proceeds from those links go right back into the channel for future videos. When you use those links, please let me know so that I can send you a small token of my appreciation. I don't know about you, but I like things firm. And this bench pad is super firm. Probably the firmest bench pad I have ever used. Bells of Steel has crafted a commercial grade overbuilt bench. And frankly, it's gonna be better than most of the benches in your local gyms. It's not always sunny in Philadelphia. And I need to give you a few detractors on this Bells of Steel bench that may or may not impact your decision. First, I wish it came in more colors than black. Now, having options is a great thing. Clearly, it's not gonna help you hit those PRs any better or get any more gains by having a different color. But as a home gym owner, we like to be able to kind of 
have a nice color theme going on. And black, while we'll go with everything, it's just not always the funnest color to choose when you hit that buy it now button. This is not a competition bench. And I don't know about you, but I have never, ever wanted to enter a competition bench. Not even in my wildest dreams. So that doesn't phase me one bit. Now, if you are the type of person that benches with their feet underneath their bench, that they really like got to get up on their toes and arc their back and all that fugazi stuff to get you an extra pound on your bench press, that might be an issue here because you don't have a singular post. You've got two feet so that if you really wanted to tuck your feet way back underneath this bench, it could be a problem. And probably the biggest complaint that is obvious for all of us to see is that price point. At $330 with free shipping, yeah, it is a well-deserved price for everything that the Bells of Steel Hero Heavy Duty Commercial Grade Bench is gonna deliver, especially because you can stand it vertically on top of all those extra great features that I mentioned, but still it's gonna be a tough pill to swallow. Another fantastic bonus with regards to this bench is the fact that it's wide and long so that when you are doing your dumbbell bench presses, you don't have to finagle where you're sitting. You can just throw yourself back and you know you're not going to miss your mark. I want to know from you. Comment down below. Is this overbuilt commercial grade hero heavy duty bench worth that $330 price point. And if you made it this far in the video, you and I are like Pee Wee Herman and Large Marge. We are best friends like Canadians and bacon. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. And as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.